A very good afternoon and thanks for clicking on to the third edition of Vogan's Global Weather Report. Looking at the Climate Reanalyzer site today and we're going to be looking at several uh, charts on this terrific website. Uh, this is the jet stream winds across the planet uh, as of today and the current positioning represents a fairly strong jet stream actually for the time of the year across the North American continent, across the Atlantic. We've got this ridge uh, climbing up towards Greenland as you can see here with an area of low pressure just off the Greenland coast. Then we've got this big dip in the jet here uh, just over Ireland so we've got a trough in place hence the cool shari theme that we've got um, going at the moment but eventually what will happen is this ridge of high pressure over the Atlantic will move eastwards shifting the trough into Europe and bringing a, a ridge uh, into the British Isles so we're going to hopefully settle things down into the weekend big um a big ridge of high pressure as you can see here up into scandinavia so the door is open between africa and scandinavia lots of heat to speak about and speaking of lots of heat this was a tweet here by um a terrific tweet here by scott duncan uh representing this was yesterday by the way 29.9 celsius recorded at tromso in the north coast of wales uh, wales wow uh, not Wales, um, Norway, and uh, we've also got um, uh, a new June record for Tunisia uh, at 48.7 Celsius. Lots of heat to speak about across the eastern portion of Europe. Lots of cool conditions in the western portion of the continent at the moment here. And you can see here, if I can get right back to the, the chart that I'm supposed to be at, you can see here a big ridge uh, over northern portions of Europe. We've got a big dip here, and hence why we've got chillier over the western portion of Russia, warmer over Eastern Europe, chillier over the far west of Europe here. And of course, Ireland, really, like I've said several times before, has not really got into the summer mode uh, at all this year so far. Hopefully that will change during the month of, uh, of July. So this is the, the 500 millibar height anomaly chart here. There's your dip, there's your trough over the extending from Atlantic into the UK and across Ireland. There's your big ridge of high pressure over Eastern Europe. There's the dip again over Western Russia. We've also got some fairly colder uh, for the time of the year across uh, Canada as well. Lots of heat uh, underneath that subtropical ridge, which is now starting to migrate towards its, uh, its kind of mean northerly position for the time of the year. Of course, as the sun uh, gains height, we start to see the air masses warming up and retreat north. The cold air across the top starts to shrink and it allows it uh, warmer uh, to lift north. But of course, you throw in a uh, sea surface temperature anomalies that throws in a spanner in the works because we get, of course, the feedback, the response from ocean to the atmosphere, and you get that uh, interest and dynamic thrown in for good measure. Uh, boiling hot across the Mediterranean basin. These are the current sea surface temperature anomalies here. Notice how much cool uh, oh, the North Atlantic has become uh, over the course of June. This could have significant impacts on, on Western Europe in particular as we go uh, through the second half of the summer time. Of course, the middle portion of July is going to be the midpoint of summer, meteorologically speaking. And uh, I would wouldn't be surprised, I might be wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some influence, if we still continue to get, like I expect, the Atlantic having dominance over the western portion of Europe, plenty of heat coming out of that, um, out of Africa, across that abnormally warm Mediterranean basin, so there's not that much uh, cooling of the African air mass as it crosses the Mediterranean and into places such as Italy, and central portions of Europe. That's why I think records could be challenged during the month of July over southern portions of Europe because you've got air masses coming off Africa across a, an exceptionally warm Mediterranean and therefore there is little to no um, uh, easing of that heat as it goes into the European continent here. But when you've got such a, a, a huge contrast in anomaly between cool over the Atlantic and warm over the Mediterranean, I think you could see the continuation of abnormally deep areas of low pressure 
that will move close to the British Isles um, through the second half of the month here. So we're back and forth, I think, will continue. The El Nino is still present, but it looks as if it's weakening significantly. What is interesting, however, is we're starting to warm the North Pacific. That's a, a difference compared to what we've seen back uh, during the winter season where we had the cool pocket uh, south of Alaska. We're starting to see those waters warming up once again, uh, which is quite interesting to see. So are we starting to see the changeover, the flip between a warm PDO and a cold AMO? You know, that's uh, open to speculation and we'll continue to monitor this uh, setup as we go forward. What the heck is happening with Antarctica? Wow, minus four, minus, sorry, minus 5.4 Celsius below normal in the Antarctic. So yeah, the Arctic, 0 0.2 above normal. The Ant Antarctic is running 5.4 Celsius below normal. So it's actually bringing the global average balancing things out at 0 0.1 Celsius. So remarkable stuff. Amazing what's going on down in the Antarctic. I don't hear anything in the mainstream media really about that. There's that dip in the, the jet over Western Russia. Look at how chilly compared to normal it is over Western Russia. Folks, there's still a lot of heat going on across parts of Africa, Europe, Middle East. We've still got some cool pockets you notice here over Turkey, Lebanon, Syria, perhaps Egypt actually slightly below normal as well. Africa, by the way, there's a large swathe of especially equatorial Africa that is running below normal, which is interesting. Parts of India, Pakistan, parts of Australia, as, as you would expect, is, is starting to um, approach the middle point of their winter, of course. But uh, there is a heck of a lot going on, folks. There really is. Minus four at Hilston in Australia. This is uh, actually the coldest temperature uh, Canberra Airport dropped to minus six and uh, Hilston recorded its coldest June night on record records will go back to uh, 65 years uh, which is quite interesting here so this is a tweet again by Scott Duncan uh, so just trying to show you all the interesting things that are going on at the moment across the world have I got anything else to speak about so yesterday it was minus 5.4 it's actually lower than that for today which is just remarkable of course we had um, wind and rain and um, you know cool temperatures uh, through the course of yesterday we're still seeing plenty of shower activity temperatures suppressed in the low 20s uh, for the time of the year as you can see here this is the cfsv2 for north america as we play through week by week you can see here trough uh, pushes into the eastern half of the united states Big ridge of high pressure starts to build, and we could see some very major heat to speak about the uh, mid to late July, I think, across the North American continent here. So play through the upcoming seven days, cool and normal across the Northern Plains, down into the portions of the Plains, the Great Lakes, as you can see here. Week two, cool and normal across the Northeast. Warmth shifts uh, westwards. Spreads out, we start to lose the trough, as you can see here, and then as I play towards the end of the month, and into August, long way off, of course, but you notice the, the focus of the heat actually being out in the west. Finally, looking at Europe here, how's it looking in terms of the CFS V2, the latest? So, look at this here, um, actually amazing stuff. Yeah, probably overdone, yeah, I think it is, but look at th this, is re remarkable actually, uh, well overdone actually. Uh, but look at the UK, look at Ireland, France, Northern Spain. Week 1, very hot, Central and Eastern Europe, as you can see here. CFSV2 actually going for cool and normal, actually extending into the, the second week of July. Week 3, still below normal. Yeah, that would be very interesting indeed. Is that a potential feedback from the warm ocean uh, to the west, or the cold ocean to the west, should I say? I don't know. Um, and then, of course, it, it starts to warm things up. Definitely overdone, that's for sure, when it comes to cool and normal. And I thought I would never see the CFS V2 uh, doing that. Looking at the monthly for the month of July, as we uh, no real change. So still cool and normal. Northern Ireland, Western Ireland average across most of the UK, warm than normal, uh, southeast and across much of Europe. And I think this could be a reasonable representation of what we could expect to see over the UK and over Europe as we go forward. So please... Uh, I do appreciate the fact that you've tuned in once again today. 
uh, please like please share and if you haven't already do hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the very latest hope you have a great rest of your wednesday hopefully be back again tomorrow with more bye for now